Hi and welcome back to Yoga with Tim. Today we're going to begin in mountain pose. Stand at the front of your mat, bring your palms together. As you reach the index finger knuckles into each other, let your collarbones spread open wide. Balance evenly across the four corners of your feet and take a slow, steady breath all the way down towards your navel, towards the bottom of the lungs. and let it out. Open your eyes and release your arms at your side. As you inhale, spread your arms out to the side, rotate externally and reach up. Exhale, little bend from your knees, tip forward. Inhale, slide your hands up your shins, reach your heart forward, draw your navel up. Then plant your hands and step back into plank pose. Open up across your chest, engage your core, engage your legs, raise your right leg up just an inch. Change legs, left leg up an inch. Set that foot down, lie down onto your belly. Stretch your arms forward, press the pinky finger side of the hand down, rotate the triceps down to the floor. Feel the thighs in neutral. Then bend the elbows back into cactus position and lift the hands up away from the floor. Feel your external rotators turn on. Reach the back of your skull forward. Then stretch your arms straight back behind you as you open up your shoulders and your chest. Get long through your lower back. Then place your hands next to your side ribs. Roll your heart into cobra. Lower your heart back down. Press back into hands and knees and stretch back into downward dog. Look in between your hands. Step, walk, or hop all the way up to the top of your mat. Inhale into a flat back. Exhale, fold forward. Inhale, come all the way up, raise your arms. Exhale, Samastiti. Inhale, raise your arms up. Exhale, bow forward. Inhale into a flat back. Plant your hands and step back into plank pose. Raise your left leg up an inch. Keep your core engaged. Change legs, right leg up. Set that foot down. Lower slowly into Chaturanga. Inhale into Upward Facing Dog or Cobra. Exhale, Downward Dog, stretch back. Look in between your hands. Step or float up to the front of your mat. Inhale into a flat back. Exhale, fold forward. Inhale, come all the way up, raise your arms. Exhale, Samastiti. Inhale, raise the arms up. Exhale, fold forward. Inhale, flat back. Step back and lower into Chaturanga. Inhale, upward facing dog or cobra. Exhale, downward dog. Look in between your hands. Step, walk, or float all the way up to the top. Inhale, flat back. Exhale, fold forward. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, Samastiti. Inhale, the arms up. One more time, Surya A. Exhale, bow forward. Inhale, flat back. Step back and lower, Chaturanga. Inhale, Upward Dog or Cobra. 
Exhale, downward dog, stretch back. From down dog, press down through your left foot and raise your right leg up from the inner thigh. Hold there, keep your navel in, reach down evenly into your hands. Then as you exhale, shift into plank and bring your knee to the outside of your right armpit. Inhale, reach it back up. Exhale to your left hip. Inhale, reach it back up. Step your foot up to your thumb. And lower your back knee down. Inhale, raise your arms up. Exhale, bend the elbows out to the side. Open up your chest. Inhale, your arms back up. Bring your hands down. Lift your back knee up. Now plant your left hand flat and twist. Take your right arm up. Press into your inner left hand, lift up on the front of the left shoulder. Now turn onto the outside edge of your left foot, outside edge of your right foot. Pull your heart up and away from your hip. Then without losing that lift of your heart, step your right leg back to stack on top of your left. Come back into plank pose. Do an optional chaturanga push-up. And stretch back into down dog. Raise your left leg up from the inner thigh. Navel in, arms strong. Exhale the knee to your left armpit. Inhale, reach back up. Exhale to your right pit. Inhale, reach back up. Step your foot up to your thumb. Lower your back knee down. Inhale, raise your arms up. Exhale, bend the elbows out to the side. Open your heart. Inhale, your arms back up. Hands down to the mat. Curl your back toes. Lift your back knee. Now plant your right hand flat and spin. Twist open. As you push into the inner hand, lift up on your heart. Then turn onto the outside edge of the right foot and left foot. Hold there or step your left leg back to stack on top. Come back into plank pose. Optional chaturanga push up. Stretch back into down dog. Look in between your hands, step or float up to the front of your mat. Inhale, flat back. Exhale, fold. Chair pose, sit your hips back. Scoop your navel up off your thighs and raise your arms. Bring your hands to prayer, sit back deeper. Twist to your right. Back into chair. Twist to your left. Come back into chair pose and fold forward, Uttanasana. Inhale, flat back. Step or float back into Chaturanga. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, downward dog. Step your right foot up to your right thumb. Set up your back heel for warrior one. Inhale, raise your arms up. Exhale, Chaturanga. Inhale, Upward Facing Dog. Exhale, Down Dog. Step your left foot. Set up your back heel. Inhale, come up, Warrior One. Exhale, Chaturanga. Inhale, Upward Dog. Exhale, downward dog. Bend your knees, look forward, step or float up to the front of your mat. Inhale, flat back. 
Exhale, fold. Inhale, chair pose. Stand and release your arms at your side. Inhale into chair. Exhale, fold forward. Inhale, flat back. Step or float back. Inhale, upward facing. Exhale, downward dog. Step your right foot up. Warrior one, inhale, reach up. Exhale, chaturanga. Inhale, upward facing. Exhale, downward dog. Step your left foot. Inhale, warrior one. Exhale, chaturanga. Inhale, upward dog. Exhale, downward dog. Look in between your hands, step or float up to the front. Inhale, flat back. Exhale, fold. Inhale, chair pose. Samastiti. One more time. Inhale into chair. Exhale, fold forward. Inhale, flat back. Step or float back. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, downward dog. Step your right foot. Inhale into warrior one. Exhale, chaturanga. Inhale, upward dog. Exhale, down dog. Step your left foot. Inhale, warrior one. Exhale, chaturanga. Inhale, up dog. Exhale, down dog. And then from downward dog, step your right foot up to your right thumb. Warrior one, inhale, come up. Open up to your side for warrior two. Then reach and put your right hand down onto the inside of your foot on the blocker on the floor. Take your left arm up. Turn your right outer hip back as you lift your heart. Then wrap your left arm behind your back, half bind or full bind. Open your arms up, lift your navel, come back up into warrior two. Reach and put your hand down onto the outside of your foot and take your left arm all the way over your ear. Inhale, come back up into Vira 2. Circle your hands to the mat. Step back. Lower slowly, Chaturanga. Inhale, up dog. Exhale, down dog. Step your left foot. Warrior 1, inhale, come up. Open up to your side, Warrior 2. Place your left hand onto the inside of your foot. Take your right arm up. Then wrap your arm behind your back. Roll your chest open. Hold there in the half bind or reach your arm under for a full bind. Open up your arms, 
Come back up into Vira 2. And place your hand onto the outside of your foot. Take your right arm over. Reach down through your feet. Come back into Warrior 2. Bring your hands to the mat. Step back into Down Dog. Or take a Vinyasa. Step your right foot for warrior two. Inhale, come up. Straighten your right leg and reach out into triangle. Then bend your knee, slide your hand and foot in front of your pinky toe and raise your back leg up. Engage your right outer hip as you reach your heart away from your big toe. Then hold here or bend your knee, bring your heel towards your butt and see if you can reach back with your hand to take a hold of your foot. Open back up. Bend your right knee, slide back into warrior two. Reverse warrior, flip your palm, inhale. Hands to the mat, step back into downward dog or take a vinyasa. Step your left foot, warrior two, inhale, come up. Straighten your left leg for triangle. Then bend your knee, slide your hand and step up. Hold there or bend the knee and reach back with your hand for your foot. Open back up nice and steady. Bend your knee and slide back into warrior two. Reverse warrior. Come back to warrior two, straighten your leg and turn your toes into your feet are parallel. Place your hands on your hips, roll your chest open, inhale. Exhale, fold forward the hands on the hips. Then set your fingertips down onto the floor, inhale into a flat back. Exhale, walk the hands back and let the head drop deeper. Inhale, flat back. Walk your hands around to the top of your mat. Step back into downward dog or take a vinyasa. Then look in between your hands, step or float up and squat down for malasana with the feet together, knees wide enough for the ribs to fit in between, soften your navel to your spine, spread, open up your lower back. Then bend your elbows and hook the knees way up high into the triceps. Prepare to take flight. As the navel plugs in, feel the backs of your shoulders broad, then pull up from your middle, engage your bandhas, and see if you can lean into your hands and lift your feet up. Then maybe lower your head down and raise your legs up. Knees back into the arms. Pause here, lift up. Set your feet down, arms forward, heels down. Sit your buttocks back, sit up tall for boat, bring your knees up. So if you haven't quite mastered that transition yet, then I highly recommend trying the arm balance series. It's gonna teach you to build the strength, the flexibility, mobility, so that you'll be able to get into that. 
and uh, yeah, try that out. Draw your navel up and try to lift your feet up. Then bend your knees, slide your feet back out, balance right up over your sit bones, release the sit bones straight down and raise your arms up. Then bring your arms down at your side, lie down on your back, take your legs straight up and get that same feeling, sit bones out of your back, shoulders, chest open, neck long, lower your right leg slowly, keeping your navel plugged in. Change legs. Change legs. And then we'll try the more advanced variation. So keeping the integrity, if you need to make it more challenging without the abs popping up at all, lower both legs now a third of the way. Keep the chest, shoulders open. See if you can lower another third of the way. And then bring the legs back up. Slowly lower a third of the way. Another third of the way. Legs back up. Again. Then take the arms out to the side, knees towards your chest. Take the knees over towards your right elbow. And then turn your navel to the left to bring the legs back to center. Knees over towards the left elbow. Turn your navel to come back to center. Over to the right. Turn your navel, come back. Over to the left. Turn your navel, come back. Then bring your fingers behind your ears, crunch up to your knees. Hold your navel to your spine, push your right leg forward. Change legs. Change legs. Change legs. And then elevate that extended leg Keeping your belly tucked in, push your other leg out to meet it. Bend your knees, set your feet down, open your arms to the side, let your knees swivel to the right, knees to the left. Come back to center. Press your heels down, lift your hips up, come up into bridge pose. Lower yourself back down. Stretch your arms overhead. Keeping the ribs in, lift your hips up into bridge. Engage the backs of the legs, then position your hands for Urva down your asana. Hold there for five breaths or lift up onto your head or all the way up into a wheel. Lower yourself back down. One more time, go back up. Bridge pose or Urdhva Dhanurasana or its preparation. Upward facing bow. Good job. Lower yourself back down. <clears throat> Hug your right knee into your chest as you stretch your left leg out along the floor. Open your right arm out to the side and twist. Take your right knee over to the left and hook your big toe just behind your left knee as you take it over. Come back to center and change sides. Hug your left knee into your chest. Open your left arm out to the side and twist. Come back to center. Give your knees one last hug. and then stretch out for Shavasana, corpse pose.
Let your body completely relax. Empty any tension you're holding in your hands and your feet. Relax the muscles in your face and your jaw. And take a slightly fuller, deeper breath. Bend your knees and roll to your side. Press yourself up to seated. Sit up straight and tall with your palms together and just take a moment to notice how your body feels. Calm yet energized. Notice your breath and notice the quality of your mind. Thank you. Namaste. So thanks so much for joining me today for the practice. Hey, if you enjoyed this practice and you'd like to try a one hour version, that's a little more challenging. Uh, and also you'll be able to access the arm balance series that I talked about then head over to the Conscious Movement Community. I'm gonna put the link below. And when you sign up for that, you get access to all my one hour content, as well as the exclusive courses, workshops. So if you're interested in deepening your practice, kind of taking it to the next level, this is really something that you should invest in. And uh, it's free for two weeks just to try it out. So make sure to give it a shot. And uh, it's a great way to support the channel. And it's the best way to start to invest in deepening your practice. Hey, hit the like button if you like the video. Um, leave a comment below. Let me know if you have any questions, comments, stuff you'd like to see next week. And subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Turn on the notifications bell when you do so that you won't miss any future videos. Have a great day, and I'll see you next time.